Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey. I'm here with an OU showdown live. Now today we're going to be using uh, a Metagross and a Mega Tyranitar team. Now I specified those two because I was emailed uh, a couple days ago from a subscriber by the name of Alexis Tomeo. And this subscriber is actually blind and, um, you know, uh, Alexis said some nice things and uh, I, I don't want to assume Alexis is a, is a guy or a girl. Uh, the name Alexis these believe that it's a girl, but I, I don't know. I've also seen guys with the name Alexi. Like one of my best friends, IRL, his name is Alexi. So anyway, that's not the point. The point was that Alexis asked if I could use a team with, you know, Alexis' two favorite Pokemon. Jesus, I keep trying to say, I, I'm not trying to say he, him or her because I don't want to be wrong, right? But uh, Metagross and Mega Tyranitar were the Pokemon that were suggested. And I figured since I use teams from you guys anyway, I might as well. It's not... Uh, it's not like it's a bother uh, if you request Pokemon and I take teams all the time for people requesting in the comment section So I decided that I would use this live with uh, Salt Vest Metagross and Mega Tyranitar. My boy Sork built me like a two-second team. So thank you, buddy. We got Mega Titar. Uh, we're actually not running Stone Edge, but Crunch with uh, AV Metagross. I actually tested this team quite a bit on the ladder and actually put in a lot of work uh, with Electrium Z, Tapu Koko, uh, Choice Scarf Landorus, and just Defensive Celesteela as well as uh, Specs Gren. So it's just a standard looking team with uh, Assault Vest Mega Metagross uh, put on it. But um, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, this guy is really weak to Metagross actually if I get rid of Rotom and uh, Ferrothorn. Uh, seeing as how, like, Mobile Sucker Punch doesn't check it due to the fact that uh, his own Psychic Terrain helps me out. Uh, though he has a really cool team as well. I like the part that he. Uh, I like the fact that he has Rotom, which could be a defogger as well as a Scarf Mod. Uh, we're gonna lead Landorus because this leads me, or this finds out one of two things versus him. One, if he leads Lele, uh, if my Intimidate goes first, we get to find out uh, that he's not Scarf. If he goes first, obviously find out he's Scarf. Uh, in the late game, I see just Tyranitar breaking through his team. Fire Punch, Fire Punch, Fire Punch, Crunch, Crunch, Crunch. Uh, so that should be good. But again, Landorus just gives me the. Uh, best possible lead I feel leads off a of Rotom I'll gladly get on my Stealth Rock if he knocks me off immediately that's fine uh, because I do have the um, basically my Landers being offensive is better versus him if it's not locked into a move but uh, he should Leech Seed right here or knock we'll go Celesteela as he goes for Spikes uh, so he might he definitely has knock I'm gonna Flamethrower immediately I don't care that you have Rotom Heat I have Tyranitar anyway, and weakening his uh, two steel resist besides Caldeo. I don't really consider Caldeo a good resist. Uh, works out better for me. So we'll protect even if he's uh, Fire MZ or anything like that. We take it, and we do get to see that he does have the Will O Wisp. It's actually pretty bad for me because I don't want to go directly on Tyranitar. I also don't want to go Greninja right here. So uh, I think what I'll do is actually uh, Leech Seed. I didn't want to go Greninja because, ugh, come on, uh, I didn't want to risk him going for Voltage right there, but. A little bit unfortunate that ended up that I ended up missing that, but we'll go Landers. Landers should be able to take one over here if he opts to go for that. I don't know if this is Z. Yeah, I don't know if this is Z or not, but uh, what I can do now is actually... I want to say hard switch, because I don't think you should stay in, fearing me to go for the... Uh, fearing me to go for the Stone Edge, since... Well, you don't know what type of land I am. Let me just U-turn. Because he might just stay in and try and 2 ko me, since he doesn't know I'm Scarf, because I did go for Stealth Rock. Uh, granted, he could go Ferrothorn and just Iron Barbs knock me out. I think Ferrothorn or Landers, his own Landers would be a good mid-ground play. I'm not sure if his Landers is Scarf then or not, but uh, he's definitely going to have to go for Overheat again here. Me not having Roost on Coco is a little bit annoying. It's like I could go Tyranitar, but then I let it get burnt and I let it take all this hazard damage. I doubt he will is right here. I was like 18%. You easily, you definitely go for Overheat again because you pick up a quick kill. He actually whittled. Wow. I don't think that was the play because I was like at 2%. What? I don't think over he lost you anything, but uh, which Dragon Nets allow me to weaken up or allow me to weaken the um, the Caldeo, uh, the Ferrothorn and whatnot. I'm actually pretty, pretty weak to <laughs> said Pokemon at the moment, uh, especially if this thing just goes for the Sacred Sword. I don't really have good answers to this, but I think that Greninja still wins me the game in the long run with just Dark Pulse. Uh, everything's... I gotta get more on Ferrothorn. 
I'm gonna go Landers right here. I'm gonna keep that amount alive because I can get off a little fire punch on Ferrothorn if necessary. It's not gonna do much, obviously, but I didn't want to go directly out to Celesteela. I really wish I hit that Leech Seed versus Rotom earlier because it would be so much lower. Unfortunately, I did not, but we can go out to uh, Tapu Koko here, and uh, while he should always go Ferrothorn, I'm gonna HP Ice just in case he wants to make the crazy play of going Landers. I don't think you should ever go Landers right now. I think the Ferrothorn should always be your play. Yep. Probably gonna be too difficult to deal with. I'm just defog. I, I don't deal with Ferrothorn at all with this team. Jesus. Not like I need my Gigable Havoc for anything anyway. So much damage too. And I will always defog. I don't know if he has Leech Seed when he has Stealth Rock and Spike. Yep. Just a more offensive variant, and uh, we'll just wild charge here. Uh, I should go down, and hopefully he doesn't end up going for rocks, though he should. All right. I still think Gren can win me this game. So I steal up plus all these could also put in a lot of work. I will just fire punch. I, I can't bother really predicting right here. Uh, again, any damage off on Keldeo is good damage, whether it be sand plus fire punch or anything like that. The fact that he can go Rotom is a little bit annoying. I'll go Metagross and just Pursuit so I can get him in range of Water Shuriken. Pursuit this bad boy. Go ahead and give me some extra chip on you. Okay. Uh, Rotom Heat comes out. I don't have anything for you. Just Meteor Mash right now. Doesn't matter if he goes Ferrothorn. Doesn't matter what play he makes. I'm really... Like, if I get rid of Rotom, he loses to, uh, he loses to Celesteela, uh, plus Greninja. So, though I don't have very many Pokemon left, it's not terrible for me right now. Come on, dude. Like, I could Bullet Punch twice then if that hit. Yeah, I can at least Meter Mash and then Bullet Punch. Man, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. <laughs> nice. Nice justice. Immediate justice. That's what I like to see. Go ahead and give me this immediate justice right now. As Keldeo is going to come out. And we'll go directly out to Tyranitar. Just to get, again, a little bit more sand off on this boy. Uh, I think with sand, let me just see how much specs Ash Grant actually ends up doing. Ash Greninja... Keldeo, 33. Need just a little bit more damage off on this dude. He should go Rotom here, yep. Uh, which is why I'm making the double out to Grin. And I can just click Dark Pulse. Let's get rid of Rotom right now. Don't have to deal with this monster. Perfect. So, so him dealing with Celesteela is a lot harder now. Assuming Keldeo doesn't 2 it KO me or anything. I'm pretty sure I knock out Ferrothorn at 46% as well. Uh, Lele could come out, but then I'd Flamethrower to get rid of Ferrothorn, and then I think I win with Celesteela on its own. So that chip damage that Pursuit got off on Keldeo was really good. Uh, double that to Landorus. I'll go directly into Grim because I think you'd have to SD up here. Or it could go for knockoff. Oh, goes for gravity. Thank you. My hydro pumps are gonna hit now. I appreciate that. 133% accurate. That is a that is a good that is a good move. I don't even care about this feral thorn. If I can hit two hydro pumps, that does not matter. That does not matter. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like you have to double out here into Landorus. No, he has no reason not to click Sacred Sword. Oh, and it does way too much damage. Oh well. I tried fighting back the best I could in that one, um, considering the circumstances. I didn't expect him to double Will-O-Wisp with uh, Rotom at all, uh, but in this game, Metagross beats Lele, thankfully, and Charizard wins on its own. It's Charizard. Spikes are really nice. He does have one, two, three, four defoggers on this squad. Coco is a great lead. Uh, finds out if the Lele is Scarf immediately. Hit <laughs> you with that shirt. I like this name. 
I know he has landers, but because I don't switch in well to this, I I have to go for that move turn one. And I'll just HP Ice here. Like, I I had to go for that. I don't have a good switch into Rotom. I really don't. I'm not going to bother predicting either. Though I could defog. Actually, why not? There's no way you uh, you stay in right there. So, it goes Lele, which is great. So, Metagross is going to be able to do a little bit of damage right now. He could double out into... I could see him doubling, honestly. I don't think you'd Scarf Psychic if you were. I, th I feel like you go Landers right now. And Dark Pulse is so free versus him. I'm going to go Metagross though just to be safe, but... Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and give me some uh, some nice 50% almost. Ooh, I'll take it. As he goes Scizor, uh, which is definitely not the biggest problem because I can go directly onto my Landers. I'm not scared about Scizor because he has Psychic Terrain that helps me out. And the fact that I brought up my own Landers because I can HP Ice his own Landers. Though I can also get up Rocks here. Oh, this thing beats my entire team. It really does. I don't deal well with this thing at all. <sighs> Bullet Punt. I really knew. I want to get up Rocks though because I want to force him to defog on a turn. Like, yeah, I'm okay with him will o me there as long as I'm able to get rid of my Coco. Because um, he, he, this probably is Defog Rotom. Yep. Uh, but as long as I'm able to get off a Wild Charge, I'm good. So basically, I was willing to let myself get burnt there just so I can get in Coco. And uh, I kind of doubt you let me HP Ice you. So we'll double. Uh huh. And now we're going to cancel out uh, whatever item this Rotom actually has by bringing up the sand. Let's see if it's Ipapa or Leftovers. It is indeed Leftovers. And we'll go out into our landers right now on the incoming Willow. Great. Get up our rocks on the Hydro. So he actually he has two choices right now. Uh, and I'm actually going to force him to either defog or let my Gren get its Ash form. Uh, because I think that Tyranitar is going to be my way of winning this game. So if he wants to defog, that's fine. I also put him in a position where he could potentially get flinched. Exactly. Yep. So I don't even care if he goes to Rakion here. Um... I have Water Shuriken in the back anyway, and any damage on Terrakion helps my uh, it helps my Tyranitar's case, so I don't care about that Justified Boost at all. I really don't. Though you should Stone Edge here for sure. I will go Coco. I think you Stone Edge here for sure, but if he close combats, which is banded by the way, that had to be banned. That's the only way that knocks out Coco. That's definitely banded, right? I'm a top of Coco. There's just no way. That was banded and super high roll. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Uh, but water resist looking nice and low. In fact, I just click Hydro Pump here and get me a kill. And the fact that rocks are up means that Lele goes down to the next Hydro, so... Uh, we do hit. Uh, Rotom also goes down. That's Bandit Terrakion for sure. That means that Lele is indeed Scarf. I mean, it goes down to the next Bullet Punch. Excuse me. He's going to go Rotom and Defog for sure. I think to prevent that, I'm going to go Tyranitar. Uh, yep. I knew he'd go Rotom. And basically, I knew I'd take a Moonblast as well. But because I because Greninja is so important in this game, I can't risk it going down right there. Which is why I'm going to bring in Tyranitar. Mega Evolving. I know I'll outspeed the Rotom and knock it out with Crunch. So basically, that plan was to make sure that he did not get rid of my hazards. Tyranitar still knocks out this. Hmm. Metagross looking the most expendable, I want to say. Because Celesteel beats everything else. So... Go ahead and sack Metagross right now to the to close combat. We'll just Pursuit, that way uh, it doesn't matter because Psychic Terrain goes down. He has one Pokemon to revenge kill me. It's indeed one Mon to revenge kill me. I wish I had Surf in this scenario because I actually can't go for anything outside of Hydro Pump. Probably going to sack Volcarona, which means that he actually loses Celesteela, so I wouldn't sack Volcarona. Uh, Scizor is destroyed. So, he does sack Volcarona. Oh god, this is one of those situations where I'm going to miss both, isn't it? Nope. Nice. So, we knock out Volcarona. This means that Celesteela just puts in way too much work versus my opponent. Because Celesteela puts in so much work, I'm not going to let him double out into his uh, Terrakion right now. 
Like, I'm not gonna... Basically, I'm not gonna go sell his tail right now because he'd bring in Terrakion. Right there. It's the same scenario. Like, he knocks me out with close combat, but I still have the... As long as I get rid of Terrakion, I win the game with, uh... With these two. He's gonna sack Scizor here for sure. Mm-hmm. We do land, and he's gonna go Lele, and he's gonna double out into his, uh... He's gonna go Lele and double. But there's only one turn of Psychic Terrain left, which means I win with Water Shuriken anyway. Yep. I knew it. I live this hit, though. Yep. I think I actually win the game regardless. Oh, actually, no, that was the last turn, so he's gonna bring in the Psychic Terrain anyway. But, yeah, I get the Spadef boost, so I'm pretty sure I win the game anyway. Because Lele should not be able to knock me out with anything. Like, I called all his plays, but I'm pretty confident that because I was Spadef Celestilla, I'd be able to take the hit regardless. And as long as I'm able to protect right here, which I will, uh, I win the game. Unless he's like Thunder Lele. But, like, that was a good double at that point. But I, I, I knew it would happen, and I knew he had to. But because I felt confident that Celestilla would take that, get the Spadef boost anyway, I don't know. Like, I think I was in a better uh, position. Like, to win the game, regardless. I hope we don't find another Feral Thorn, though. It's annoying because my hazard control doesn't deal with it. What is it? What is his, uh, what is his last move on Layla? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's game. GG, man. Not bad. Yeah, but that one double with Rotom, and basically the way I play Landorus in this game, I had I, I I I made it so Landorus went down. My own Landorus went down, but at the point of giving me rocks and at least giving me the most odds to get up rocks. Obviously, the flinch on Rotom was huge, right? Because he would have been able to default. But I put myself in that position to gain that advantage. We all know Pokemon's a game of odds, and you know it's stupid when it's against us. It's great when it's for us, right? That's just how it is. Uh, but that's what I was trying to do in that game. And uh, if it wasn't for Gross chipping away at my boy Lele, and even uh, Tyranitar getting rid of the Rotom right there and keeping up the sand, could have been bad. All right, so another one where uh, really like these two. Actually, really like these. Two. Wow, he's this is the biggest threat to my team. Metagross is great. Like, it's amazing versus him. Bullet punches the Ancy, beats Tyranitar, which is mega. Oh, no, 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 which is regular. Uh, beats Lele, and then Celestilla beats everything else. That's funny. Hmm. Actually, seeing as how Tyranitar is annoying, for me, I'm gonna lead off with my Coco. I wanna find out what type of uh, Celestilla, what type of Lele it is immediately. Again, just based on the ability and whatnot. At the same time, I could just lead Landorus. But he has a spinner, a potential defogger, and magic bounce. I lead Metagross. Lele is annoying as a lead, and I'd rather pursue it if he leads off with it. Leads Tyranitar, which can definitely crunch me. Are we going to go directly out to Landorus right here, just in case it's his choice band, though I'm pretty sure it's rocks. As he goes Celesteela, which means I get up my rocks, because I take a hit, and I don't need Landorus particularly healthy for anything, because I do have my... Uh, my own mod in the back. Oh, it's actually offensive, which makes it a little bit uh, more annoying to deal with. But I could see him switching out into. No, I don't think I'd switch out to extra now because I could U turn. Uh, we'll go Coco and then we'll actually U turn out on the extra drill coming in. And. Yeah, yeah. That's that's offensive Celestilla for sure, by the way. So Fire Blast, something I could see coming. I uh, will go Coco on the next Air Slash or Fire Blast. Very, very solid play on my opponent's part. Didn't expect it to be a uh, physical variant right there. And we'll just U-turn on the extra drill coming in. Chipping away at that boy. And go Landris. If he wants to Iron Head, he can go for it. Otherwise, we shall just go for the U-turn right here. Um, Iron Head does not knock me out nice. And we do get flinched, unfortunately, which means he can Rapid Spin. However, he doesn't know I'm Scarf. Does he suspect it? Oh, he suspected it. Very solid play. Very solid play on my opponent's part right there. Air Slash, Earthquake, Leftovers. I think that Cartana just wins. I think that Celestilla just wins. Yep. I'm pretty sure this Mon just wins. Because 
Unless he has Leechy as his last move, I beat this 1v1. What's his last? Is this just four attacks? He's gonna burn me right here, I feel it. I didn't miss Lee Seed either. Whoa. Whoa. Flamethrower is pretty safe. Weaken this for Metagross. Uh, don't allow Exegor to come in. Oh, God, that did so much damage. What is this? I love how because he's offensive, he's doing the same damage to me. And because, again, he's offensive I, and I'm special defense, I'm taking like the same hit. So, I wonder if it makes sense what I was saying there. Tyranitar comes out. Uh, even though he will more than likely get a Brox here, uh, I don't have the best switching. As he goes for Fire Blast. I eat this. Yeah, I eat this. And uh, as long as I get recovery and at the same time also stall out his sand, because I think that's the bigger thing, making sure that extra drill doesn't beat me 1v1, I don't care if he gets a Brox. If he does, then that means that I sack Landorus on the, uh, the extra drill rapid spin. I mean, either way, I'd sack Landorus, but chipping away at Tyranitar also goes for a potential endgame Water Shuriken sweep, because if I get rid of Lele, right, and Kartana's like at half, Water Shuriken can put in some massive amounts of work. Uh, I kind of doubt you. I mean, he could have superpower, but I'm gonna go Grand here. He could rocks, fire blast again, even. He just keeps clicking fire blast. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, the Hydro Pump switchings do not exist. Especially because Sand is gone. So even if you're a Salt Vest Tyranitar, I'm getting my form right now. I am getting this form right now. Once this Hydro Pump lands right there, and he gave me Celesteela, which means uh, Gross is even better versus him. Beautiful. So go ahead and give me my battle bond. He cannot speed me with anything unless it's Scarf Lele. Uh, which I will pursue trap or Kartana Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, maybe Sacred Sword. Uh, either way, I sack uh, Lanterus just to get off the Intimidate immediately. Yep, then grip in my Celestilla and just click Flamethrower right here. Uh, we don't care about the Tyranitar coming in. Uh, that's two turns of Leftovers Recovery for me. Though it does mean he gets up sand. And what I'm actually going to do is go Greninja and click Water Shuriken because I want to force the Layla to come in. I'm not going to click Hydro Pump. I want to click Water Shuriken because I want to make sure that Extra Drill stays out and that Lele comes in. Uh, Water Shuriken should be able to knock out Tyranitar. Oh crap, it is actually Assault Vest. Are you kidding me? It actually was Assault Vest. It's still the same exact scenario though. He can't bring in... One, he can't get a Brox or anything unless it's Deancey. And I have Defog. And two, he can't bring in Excadrill. Also, I'll be able to knock out Kartana. Or at least weaken it. Severely. Because Sand goes down here, I'm not, I'm not worried. I don't have to switch out. Even if he doubles out to Lele. Um, and Kartana, yeah, it doesn't take this. So, not sure why he made that play. He, what he should have done was do that play and then double out to Lele. But because he just made that play and <laughs> it didn't do anything for him, basically, I get to clean up the game now with uh, Gross plus Gren. Ooh, so we making plays out here. Let me just mash. I don't, I don't, I don't even have to pursue. There's no point. I bullet punch, sweep through his team. Actually, I could just Earthquake. Because Drill would be like the only play he can make that actually threatens me. Yep. So we'll go ahead and get rid of Drill. AV Metagross. I'll put a little bit of work right there. That's definitely Scarf. Uh, Scarf DN. Uh, Scarf Mon, by the way. Scarf Lele. At this point, I believe we just go Coco. Get up the terrain. That way he has Psychic Terrain isn't up. Sack it to Earth Power. Because Metagross wins the game, I'm not worried. Uh, I'll just click Heavy Slam here. I'll definitely live in HP Fire. Uh, it has to be like max attack Diamond Storm to even do any damage to me. Yeah, that was a lot of attack actually. But I also get a Spadef boost. Get my nice little Beast boost right there. Knock out the NC. I could have went Metagross and clicked Bullet Punch. But because Metagross wins anyway. And like he's going to lock himself in the Wound Blast. Which doesn't even knock me out with anything. My boy Tony Blaze. Fight the power of Meta. Jeez, my friend is hitting me up. Merry Christmas, by the way, for those for yesterday. Uh, 
that's not gonna knock me out. Yeah, there's no way. That's Scarf Lele, buddy. Uh, Celeste Steel too good. Double Steel, not bad. And Gross putting in a lot of work there too. Not even bad. Let's go ahead and... You know, this kind of lost a lot of points. I feel like because I was only with friends. Um, anyway. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, hopefully in this next game, Metagross can also put in work. We've been seeing a lot of Lele. We have been seeing a lot of Lele, which is good. Which is really good because that's the type of matchup we want. We don't want Feral Thorns though. We don't want Feral Thorns. Even though we have two Fire Moves on the team, it's because our Stealth Rocker and Defogger are like... I think it's not just Feral Thorn. It's Feral Thorn plus like... What is that? Why did my phone just get me the email? Uh, why is this so loud? I have the volume turned off. I'm trying to record. Go away. Anybody get anything cool for Christmas? I don't like usually care for gifts much. I, I, I think I haven't in a long time. Uh, ever since like I got my computer a couple years ago, it's like I can I can you know I can buy what I want. But like you know back in the day, right? As a kid, when we used to get socks, we'd be like, oh man, socks. Oh this game's gonna be annoying. Uh, oh man, socks. But now it's like as, as an adult, yes, socks. I have more now. Let's go. Things like that. Okay, so scarf grind for sure. Like that's a thousand percent scarf grind. Will he land though first because I want him to ice beam if anything? Leads Feral Thorn. Oh, that's gonna be such a pain to deal with. It's Feral Thorn plus Electro type that makes this hard. Hey. And I don't have Edge on my Tyranitar. So, like, Tyranitar puts in a lot of work if I had Edge for Clefable. I got a Rock here because I forced a Defog by him. In any case. Also, having Intimidate off on Feral Thorn is nice. Uh, if he knocks me off, cool. <laughs> I don't think I particularly need the speed control from this mod. I'd rather actually be able to HP ice U turn freely and whatnot and get up my rocks. So I wouldn't mind a knockoff right here if he went for it. Just seeds immediately. We'll go Celestilla into Tyranitar, I believe. He could go hard Zathos, actually. But just knocks. Which is fair. Uh, we'll go Tyranitar because I expect... Like, I feel like Celestial uh, lures in the, uh, lures in the uh, Zapdos, and if I'm, like, if this, if all goes well, right, let's see he fears Bandit Stone Edge, because I don't think Ferrothorn should come back in. He goes Zapdos and hopefully go Garchomp from there. Yep. So we're gonna Ice Punch here. Obviously super effective on this, but more importantly, I'm hoping he go uh, Garchomp right here. Clef is also a good mid-ground play, but if you fear Bandit Stone Edge, you go something like Garchomp. I feel like. Or you can just stay in. That's fine. A default. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and get some damage off on you anyway. Let me drag this up. Do a little bit of damage. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of damage. Probably going cleft, but it shouldn't make a difference. Like I'm, I'm always, I'm always dragging this thing up here. Uh, goes Hera, which I believe takes this. This is this is Mega Heracross. Does it actually take this? It's Mega Heracross. Like it, it should. What? I, did anybody see that Eevee spread? What the hell was that? Heracross Mega. A uh, little tip for everybody ever doing calcs. If you don't know their Eevee spread, just put max HP. That way you can make your play based on that. Uh, 7184. And if he's not max HP, not that I'm mercy in that, but 86 to 101. So either way, it uh, doesn't work out best for me. Uh, but we can go Lando here. If he wants to go Zap. Yeah, if he close comments, that's fine. Uh, he could just go hard Zapdos. I'm going to have to get up rocks anyway if he doesn't. Because getting rid of Zapdos would be great. Also, next time Heracross comes in, it's in range. Like I said, little tip. You don't know the Eevee spray, you do this. Yeah, I don't mind. Because uh, Zapdos has to go down... If anything, and he, if he roosts, that's fine. Uh, I bring in my, I bring in my Coco right now because if he roosts, I threaten it with the Z move, uh, and I can also U-turn. If he defogs immediately, good play. Didn't expect that. I'm gonna HP just in case he wants to risk the Garchomp right there, and Feral Thorn comes out. So it's the same situation. Like, I don't care what play he makes with this. I don't. I don't have to let this Mon go down either. I always go Lando and like if he knocks me off or leech seeds that's fine spikes up immediately so he has to get rid of the uh, hazards if he if he spikes 
or if Elite Caesar knocks off here. I actually would like him to knock me off. I don't want my Scarf in this game, though it does check Garchomp. At this point, I'm thinking that it's Scarf Grin plus SD Garchomp. Uh, then again, it could very well be no Z move and then be, or even Z combine Clefable for Tox Specs. But I feel like you don't care too much about Tox Specs when you have Knock Off on Feral Thorn, you have a Zapdos, and you have Clef. But uh, once again, we go out to Tyranitar. If he wants to defog away the hazard for me, cool. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, you could just roost. He discharges. Don't. Oh, come on. I will crunch right here. It'll knock him out, but don't get the para on me, man. Ain't nobody need no paras out here. Like, if I get rid of Feral Thorn, I Hydro Pump through him. I Hydro Pump through him. Which is why I would like to get rid of Feral Thorn. Because Gren isn't a water resist, guys. Gren is not a water resist at all. Uh, you should always go Clef, I feel. I don't think I outspeed him, even if I Dragon Dance. He might just try and roost or even defog. If he de if he does choose to defog right here, please break through Tyranitar. I'd very much appreciate that. Or if he switches out, that'd be great because I do like Zapdos being worn down. It's the Feral Thorn that's going to be an issue. But it's only an issue because he has Zapdos. So one play I could have made earlier with Lanners was actually HP icing on the Zapdos switching as opposed to getting up rocks. I was just really greedy. <laughs> I really, I'm not going to lie. It was really greedy of me. Um, have we seen if he was pressure or not? I don't even know. Yeah, we do. Okay, we have. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and he goes hard Her Heracross. Great. Awesome, 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 awesome. So Heracross has been weakened. Uh, Dark Pulse answer if I get rid of Clefable. That's good. We can go to Landorus now. Uh, the reason I like the Landorus play now is because if he doubles out into his own Landorus or to Zapdos, that's fine. Uh, I get off the Intimidate or the uh, the Intimidate on this, and I also can HP Ice to Zapdos if he goes out to that. Uh, I kind of doubt he goes Zapdos right here, but Earthquake does knock out Heracross at minus one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, either way, we'll HP Ice because we can Dark Pulse through him after that. Yep. This, there's no way that goes down the bullet. Eh, it might actually go down the, No, no, I don't, I don't believe it'll go down the bullet punch. So, we'll just HP Ice here because I will be able to get rid of the uh, Heracross. And I don't think Zapdos is defogging away my hazard, man. I don't. But the reason Ferrothor is so annoying is because it... The, the way it works versus this is... Didn't get 6 0 Bro, I don't even know if I'm winning this game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The reason Ferrothor is so annoying is because it leech sheets through my entire team. Ah, uh, Same. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. The Pokemon is gone. Nice, nice, nice. He could actually went Feral Thorn right there. Did I show if I was HP Ice or HP Fire? I'm just glad that uh, Heracross is gone. Don't like playing versus that Pokemon. So annoying. Will you turn right here? Because Celesteel and Flamethrower nabs me one. Yeah, Celesteel and Flamethrower nabs me one. I don't think Leech Seed will actually beat that mod. Hope you do one SBR this year. Hope so too. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, Flamethrower. Chomper is probably SD. I'd be SD. That's an odd play to go hard chomp but again I'm, I think I'm, I'm I have to go for the is that scarf chomp is it SD fire fan yep okay so HB ice uh, I shouldn't knock him out actually but when he doesn't know my spread so I'm a little bit tired of going on the defensive Though, at the same time, like, I know he would be SP Charm, which means it is probably one likely Scarf Grin. Uh, so, we'll go Tyranitar here. And Tyranitar, just clicking Fire Punch, best possible play. Um, doesn't matter if he brings in. I, I'm not, I don't think that's Battle Law. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Grin at this point. Uh, Fire Punch knocks out Feral Thorn if he stays in, or at least weakens it to Dark Pulse. Or, or Hydra Pump, basically, sweep. And that's really what I'm going for now. Uh, it'd be great if he goes Zathos right now, and I break through and knock him out. 
Uh, otherwise, Metagross's place is it could beat everything like switch in wise. He doesn't switch in wise. Or he doesn't switch in well to that Pokemon at all. And I get a burn on Clef, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna ice punch right here because I don't want him doubling out, predicting me to uh, go out to one of my steals. Didn't think about rocks being uh, the play. Crap, man. That's what I'm talking about. Like, Ferrothorn is so annoying to break through because I have no Leech Seed immunity. But if I... Uh, okay, so let's say I get the attack raise right here on the first Meteor Mash. I just click Earthquake repeatedly versus Ferrothorn, and then I Hydro Pump through his team. So I'm going for the Meteor Mash first. Um, always, no matter what. If he wants to go Gren, that's fine. Because Gren does not knock me out with Specs Dark Pulse. And Meteor Mash into Earthquake should be able to knock it out. Could actually be Hydro Vortex Gren too. That's also an option, but I'm pretty sure it's Z-Gar Chomp. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Like, the Ferrothorn matchup is annoying because, again, just switching into that is so... such a pain. Ooh, beautiful damage. We can safely sack Tyranitar here. Could be... And go Coco, HP Ice, and then uh, Gigable Havoc. Yep. HP Ice, Gigable Havoc is the play. Uh, this dies to Dark Pulse. All I gotta do is get that one hit off on Feral Thorn, actually. And I think I could Dark Pulse through him or Hydro Pulse through him. I'm not sure. Then again, he might be able to do the same thing with his own Gren, depending on what move he goes for. I really want to click Wild Charge here so bad, or Gigable Havoc so badly. Uh, but. I feel like he doesn't need Garchomp. Because all he needs is Ferrothorn plus his 10% Zapdos. <laughs> he sacks him on to bring in the Zapdos again. Getting a Spikes would be nice, but me risking Spikes means... Like, if I was Z-Gren, it would be a little bit better in this case. Uh, but me getting up Spikes means that he gets the Defog with Zapdos. And gets in Zapdos, which actually beats my team. So, goes Clef. I don't care if he scouts for it. He probably will scout for it, but that shouldn't matter. Like, and if he doesn't scout for it, then he gives me the dark pole switching. So, what happened? M Baddy? You guys think he's gonna scout for it? I feel like he would scout for it. I feel like he will. Or even sag Zapdos. Or he might just lose. Right now. It's pretty anticlimactic. Uh oh. That boy's back. Five. Let's see. Oh, God. Well. <sighs> oh. And he just leaves. I'm getting another one. I'm not ending on that. That was anticlimactic. On a, like, if he stayed in there and he gave me... Whoops. If he stayed in there and he did give me Clef, because uh, Wild Charge should put in, in range of... Uh, Z Wild Charge even knocked out Clef. Or puts it in range of Dark Pulse? I think it does. It's top of Coco. Marcus, don't have a Feral Thorn. Thanks, Marcus. Appreciate you, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Marcus. I do. I do. I was the one. Be the one, fam. Uh, I like this guy. That's the one, man. Anyway, Landers, great lead. Scarf, doing video. Always, man. On the grind. To the top. <laughs> actually, I actually do play Pokemon for fun, guys. I want to let everybody know that. Like, I, The other day, I was laddering just because I can. Uh, anyway... Metagross's prime purpose right now is to make sure I don't lose a Pokemon turn one to this Landorus, which I which is Kieran, which I love. So just in case he crits me, we'll go for bullet punch right here. Fusion bolt does not knock me out. Doesn't do crap, actually. And we'll just pursue. And weaken the Kiram. 
Nah, bro. Nah, that's why Lannis was like, such a great lead because it meant that you couldn't do crap to me. I'm gonna meteor mash right here. I don't care. Any damage on Cartana is nice for Water Shuriken, which is my way of winning this game, by the way. Now I've weakened his two uh, resists. I will double to Lannis because I don't want to go out to Celesteela and have him bring out Kiram again. I don't mind him knocking off my choice card because that means I get up rocks. Uh, and he can go out to his own landers right here. But again, rocks mean... This, this is like the water shuriken thing I'm hoping for. And I should be able to 2-Akio his landers with HP Ice. He's also max speed. And he might also be... Uh... Assuming this is a speed tie, I'm going to go Metagross because I can bullet punch. Yep, and that was also an option. So we get rid of landers. Uh, Kiram is low. If he goes out into his Coco, I'm clicking the uh, Bullet Punch just for damage on that thing. Goes Cartana, which I'm pretty sure is Choice Lock? I don't, I'm not even sure, actually. I'll go Lanners just to get off the Intimidate. No, Lanners Intimidate is useful for the Lucha. I don't know what the play is here, actually. Again, what, what was the damage off on Lanners that he did? That's Scarf, right? That's Scarf. Bring Celestilla. Yeah, that, that, it do not matter. I'm clicking Flamethrower. I'm not clicking no, uh, no Leech Seed at all. Yeah, any damage on Magirna means that, once again, like, Gren is just so good versus him. And we'll sack Metagross to ensure that my opponent cannot Volt Switch, which means I get in Landorus. Yep. Uh, this ensures that I get in Landorus. That's Scarf Cartana. And we get to sack the Kurum Black. Nice, 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 nice. Assuming the uh, Coco is going to come out, great. HP Ice. I don't even care. I'm going to go for U turn. Boy, Specs, Dazzling Gleams. That has to be Specs. I think that's the only way you knock me out there. I really, really, really wish I had Stone Edge right now. Really wish I had Stone Edge right now. <laughs> I'm Mega Evolving Ice Punching because it hits Halucha upon switching. And Water Shuriken can deal with it. But I really wish I had Stone Edge. That would be preferred right now. Though Cartana coming in is fine too. Uh, Leaf Blade or Double. Yeah, either way, Celesteela is my play. Sacred Sword is also good too. But I think you would Leaf Blade or Double. Let me just leech seed up on this Magirna. Yes, land, land. Nice, 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 nice. Not only do I get recovery and I stall out the electric terrain. As I was saying, not only do I get out recovery and I stall out the electric terrain, but I get a little bit of damage off of Magirna for Hydro Pump. Go directly out to Tarantar. Again, we're just trying to weaken the Coco. It's specs for sure. I think that's the only way it knocked me out. It's Fire Punch. Cause at this point I get in Gren. And I think he has to go out into He could go Mag. I really want a Hydro Pump so badly because I know what 2 AKO is Magirna. And if I get the boost, my own Coco can win. I think I still water shirk in either way. Yeah, I, I still think this was a play because depending on hits, I can win with this anyway. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. I might have messed up my endgame, actually. No, I don't think I did. No, we're just going to get five hits. We're, <laughs> we're just going to get, like, five hits versus Cartana. Or five hits versus Coco. And then, yeah, I think we win this game right now with the Water Shuriken spam. Yep. Because uh, Magirna can no longer switch into me. Also, Coco might just die to Greninja's Water Shuriken. I think that's the only game plan I have, though. Water Shuriken. I know how many times I've done this versus Tapu Coco. I'm just make it timid because you are specs. That's three hits. 50. Think you win? Maybe.
IHP Ice here. I don't think I go Grin. I, I need the, uh, yep, IHP Ice. Yep. And now I win because he can't switch around to beat me. So that crit actually almost scared me. If I got double crit, that would have been bad. But now I just water shuriken to win the game. Hey, Go ahead and give me this. Yeah, I don't think any of these mons take this. Ash grin in the back. There's no way. There's no way you take this. This is specs, bro. It actually took it? It actually took it. GG. What the hell? Huh? I literally made the game plan that way and sat Coco as opposed to going towards because the other play would have been going Greninja and actually going for the four hit or the high roll three hit. Um, but I didn't know how Lucha took that. That's not they don't run max HP. What is it like 144? Did you have that spread right here? I really didn't know that how Lucha took that. It actually does. Wow. I mean, if I got a super high roll, I could win. Wow, I thought that was a guaranteed kill. Uh, that's my bad. Um, I should have counted that. Otherwise, I would have gone for the roll versus... I would have gone for the roll versus with, versus Coco. Which might not have won me the game in the... Anyway. I think I had to just get that roll on Halucha at the end. And I needed a high roll to win. Oh, well. Went it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, Metagross and Titar putting some work. I probably should have fire punched then. I ice punched because I didn't want Lucha coming in. Because, I, But then again, I guess because Coco was healthy enough, I could have taken it on. So it, maybe hindsight, ice punch wasn't the play. Because I still would have done enough damage for hopefully water shuriken, depending on some good hits. Uh, but yeah, okay. Anyway, I enjoyed this live. I hope you guys did as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.